following the weekly contest to 79 series the second question in the list is smallest value of the rearranged number here in this question we are given an integer value and we need to rearrange the digits of this input number such that the resultant value is minimum in nature we need to return that rearranged number here they have provided us with two examples i'll be walking through these examples as well as the algo to go about it by the presentation so without further ado let's quickly walk through the ppt smallest value of the rearranged numbers lead code 2165 so let's take an example here the input number that is given to us is 310180 so what is the smallest number that get can be generated using these digits it would be equal to 1 00 1 3 2 3 8 so how many digits do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 perfect so this is the smallest possible number that can be generated now comes the question how can we think about the solution it's pretty simple and straightforward and the question provides us with enough hints the first one is the word minimized so as soon as you see minimized word think in terms of greedy approach and from that you can think of we need to sort these characters up so let's extract these characters let's convert this number into string format and then let's sort it up so once we have sorted this up the characters would be in the state 0 0 1 1 3 8 so we have sorted all the characters that are present in the input number and we have stored it in a char array now what do we need to do next obviously the number can't begin with 0 because the value will be lost we have to move till the position Till we don't find a non-zero value. Where do we find non-zero value? Here. So what we can do? We can simply swap the starting position, which is occupied by a zero, and this one. So these two get swapped, and what do we get now? We have one zero zero one three eight, and this is in sync with our expectation. And we can simply cast this array back into an integer value and return it as the answer. Pretty simple and straightforward. the time complexity of this test case would be equal to the time required to sort this digits up and that would be equal to let's assume the length of the digits is n the time complexity would be n log n let's look at the other case which is equally interesting so let's assume the input number happens to be negative in nature when the input digits are negative we have to do things slightly differently how let's talk about it so uh, we keep a note that this number is negative in nature and let's first talk about what will be the result of this how can we get the minimum possible value using these digits in negative format the the minimum value would be equal to minus 8 3 1 1 so does this example give you a hint yes it does what we need to do we need to first of all store whether the number was negative or not in case it is negative then again we need to extract all the digits and we need to sort those up when we will perform sorting what will be the resultant array it would be equal to 0 0 1 1 now we just need to simply iterate in the reverse direction and build our answer so we can when we reverse this up what do we get we get 8 3 1 1 0 and now we can cast this into number format and add a negative sign to it because previously we stored this information that the number was negative in nature so these are the two test cases that you need to cover in this algo and the interviewer might not tell you these test cases directly try and think in the direction of these test cases and i am pretty sure you will be able to come up with it to finally conclude let's quickly walk through the coding section and let's finally look have a look at it here i have taken a variable is negative in case my nums is less than 0 this would be updated to true moving further i create the absolute value of nums uh, thinking whether it was negative or positive this would be updated to positive always then moving going forward i create an char array out of the nums that is given to me i also store uh, create a new variable named answer that is responsible for storing the answer going forward i sort this character array if the number happens to be negative what do we need to do we need uh, i am need to create my answer string and that is simple reversal of this char array i create the new string i pass it into long and store it in the answer also don't forget the negative sign and this is taken care by this boolean variable because we have previously stored this information whether the number was negative or not going forward 
in case the number happens to be positive what do i do i i take keep a, create a counter variable i and it is responsible for iterating all the elements till the time we keep on seeing zeros because the array has been sorted in ascending order then if zeros does exist exist then what do i do i simply swap the character of zero with a non zero character and again i once i am done with this i simply cast it back into a string format whatever char array it is and finally i assign it to the answer variable long dot pass long result in the end i simply return the ans so let's try this up accepted awesome the rhyme complexity of this approach is order of n log n where n signifies the number of digits in my input number this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you in some time